Hello again, everyone. Uh, this is your boy, Jesse Kell, the Collecting Nerd, and for the first time in a long time, I'm happy to say that I am back with a new video. <clears throat> so to get back into the groove of uh, making videos on like full-time schedule, at least uh, one video a week, I decided to do a few different videos highlighting uh, my metal collection. The first one is going to be the 45s, as you can see in this video. The second entry will be my cassettes, and the third one will be my heavy metal LPs. So, if you're into a, either 80s glam or Vice City, you'll recognize this one. It is Turn Up the Radio with Thrill of Love by Autograph. Uh, this one, you guys have seen before. I've covered it in uh, the first video I made this year. It is Villains along with Reverse by Battletorn. And if you look closely, you'll see an etching on the uh, other side of the record, which I think is pretty cool. <clears throat> Up next, we have easily one of the most iconic metal songs of all time, Paranoid, along with The Wizard by Black Sabbath. Both released in 1970, both over 50 years old, both still kick a lot of ass. Up next, we have a bit of a uh, stoner metal record. This is a blighter. Side one is Oblivious Arrival and Wolf, and side two is Elusive Mindset and Darkness Enthroned. Making our way all the way to the Ds, we have Decivion with their Despondent 45. Side A is Despondent, and side B is by Her Dark Caress. This one was cool. It's one of the first like a uh, heavier 45s I've gone within my collection. I've had a lot of fun listening to this just within the past year that I've had it. Up next, these few records are going to be a bit on the commercial side and ones that uh, a lot of people who know metal will easily recognize these as uh, staples within like the more commercial rock side of things. We have Photograph. And Action Not Words by Def Leppard. Followed by easily their most well-known song, Pour Some Sugar On Me, with uh, Ring of Fire as the B-side. And last but not least, we have Armageddon It and Release Me. Last one for the D's is going to be a dual stereo promo 45 of Just Got Lucky by Dokken. Moving on to the F's, we have uh, Forza Macabra. I don't really know this band too well. It's a uh, re-release. The songs were originally recorded in 1984-1987. Uh, this is actually pretty good. It's a uh, not sure where this band is uh, from, like nationality-wise, but I still enjoyed listening to it. Up next, we have a couple of UK uh, 45s. The first one being. It's so easy with Mr. Brownstone by Guns N' Roses. It even says on the back that it was uh, made in England. And up next, and I've actually spent a good amount of money on this one. It's uh, an original UK 45 of Run to the Hills and Total Eclipse by Iron Maiden with the original pick sleeve. I had to have one with the pick sleeve just because there's one thing that Iron Maiden is known for. It's definitely their fucking artwork along with the music. This next one is cool. It was like one of the first 45s that I got when I was really starting to get into uh, collecting records. It is October and Gollum by Lost Goat, and it's on Alternative Tentacles Records, which is the label that Jello Biafra from the Dead Kennedys owns. <clears throat> Up next, I got this one from my uncle as a uh, birthday present. It is Macabre with Be Forewarned and Lazy Lady. This is actually a uh, re-release of the original, and it was only limited to a certain amount of copies. And it was cool because uh, it talks about how Jeff O'Keefe uh, bought the original Masters for this tape and decided to re-release it to go along with the uh, release of, I think, uh, Last Days Here by Pentagram, you know, the compilation th that they did. Up next, we have a pretty cool one that I got from my cousin. It is Metallica, the first 30 years, was So What and Through the Never. 
both songs are live. Up next, we have Mord with uh, the songs being 1, 2, and 3, and 4. It's a, a two piece black metal band. I don't really know much about these guys other than they made a good 45, but that's just the way I see it. Up next, uh, the artwork is a bit graphic, so just a heads up there. Have Nine Shocks Terror with Mobile Unit. With mobile terror unit, ninth symbol, make your point and backing out. I'm trying to remember if this is on. Oh yeah, this is actually on a, a nice gray marble uh, vinyl. <clears throat> Up next, I was able to get this one for a good deal. It's uh, so tired with a B side by Ozzy Osbourne. Not a huge fan of the song "So Tired," but. Anytime I see like an Aussie record or an Aussie 45, I just couldn't pass it up. The next one's cool because it actually is one of my uh, favorite Ozzy Osbourne songs. It is a dual stereo promo 45, The Miracle Man. Has the awesome fucking riffage and solo from uh, Zach Wilde in the song. One of my, like I said, it's one of my favorite Ozzy Osbourne songs. <clears throat> up next, this one's actually a. Uh, I can't remember if it's French or somewhere else, but I know it's a, a European 45. It's a I Surrender and Maybe Next Time by Rainbow. This was released in 1981 off their Difficult to Cure album. And it was shortly, well not shortly, but it was uh, pretty much after DLF, so Rainbow wasn't as interesting. But they still continued on. The next one... <clears throat> Of course, it's uh, The Morning After by Rat, and uh, Round and Round on the A side. It's cool, uh, and, god damn it, I can't even remember the name, but you know the fucking Rat album. Basically, I got it as uh, one of the first uh, cassettes that I ever owned in my collection, and it's a good album, Round and Round and The Morning After are actually two of my favorite songs from the album. <clears throat> Up next we have... Raven's Creed with Panzer Maniac, Imperial Leather, Exploding the Steel, and Dan and Dead Crow Mantle. Try it. Pretty sure this is on standard black. Yes, it is, but it's pretty cool, like heavy underground metal record. If you uh, are into the more weird, obscure shit like I am, this one's cool. It's a mono stereo promo 45 of Outlaw by Riot. Really good, a uh, new wave of British heavy metal band from the early 80s that was made on Elektra. Next 45 we have is uh, Satanize, Dead Mass Execu Death Mass Execution with uh, Purge Sacred Blood, Doom Conjuration, and Death Mass Execution. I got it for a pretty cheap at a uh, record store in Seattle at a uh, pretty sure it was singles going steady it is where I got the record now so last couple of records I only got uh, two more left to go but they're still pretty fun to listen to nonetheless this one actually came with a uh, black metal LP that I bought on eBay uh, earlier this year and it is just the uh, EP version of Infidel Eternal in a really cool uh, marble brown vinyl. Last but not least is just another one of those holy shit, this is weird kind of a uh, grindcore type records. It's uh, Unholy Grave from uh, Conscious Reality and the EP's name is Morbid Reality. So <clears throat> That's pretty much all the records I have that are metal 45s. Like I said, the next couple of videos I have coming up are going to be my heavy metal cassettes and the LPs that are within my collection. Uh, if you like what you saw, that's pretty cool. Like, comment, share it with your friends. You know, let them know, hey, check out this channel. If you like cool heavy metal, if you like cool collectibles from Hot Wheels on the Wall to the wrestling figures I show every once in a while. But other than that, if you just like it, that's also okay. Just, uh, yeah. 
Anyways, this has been your boy Jesse Kelly, the Collecting Nerd, and for the first time in a long time, tally-ho!